Hey guys, a Tumblr follower of mine asked me if I can show her how I shape my nails. And baby bun, this is for you. First of all, I cut my nails very frequently, every two weeks. And it actually helps your nails to grow a lot better and stronger if you cut your nails often. And you can see here that my nails is longer than the tip of my fingers, which is uncomfortable for me to type or wash my face. So that's the point where I cut it off. I like the length of my nail to end right at the tip of my finger. So let's get into how I do this. I use this nail clipper, it's called the Edge Cutter, and usually it's used for acrylic nails, but I've been using this for two years now and I love it. As you can see here with my nails, I have a curve to each nail, and the Edge Cutter just fit right under the curve and clip my nails off without um, breaking it or uh, cracking it. So that's a good thing about it. And plus it gives you a perfect straight cut. Usually if I use a regular nail clipper, I have to clip it twice, like half of the nails at a time. So this is a perfect way to cut it. I also use a paper nail filer, um, a softer one, not, not the grainy one. This is very soft and some uh, buffers. These um, are the things that you can find in the drug stores near you. So maybe not the clipper, but try to watch this video until the end and maybe you can win it. <laughs> so let's start cutting our nails first. And if you notice, I am cutting my nails and filing my nails with the polish on. And this is a trick that I find very interesting. If I keep my polish on, I feel like my nails is more protected to this type of um, things that I do to it, the cutting and the filing and everything. That's one thing. Another thing is I could see a lot clearer um, how to shape my nails. It's a lot better than when uh, my nails is clean. I can clean my nail afterward, which is good. So here I'm just clipping off all the nails to the length that I like. I just put the clipper um, right against the tip of my finger and make sure that it's on a straight line, like a parallel line to my cuticle and squeeze. And it cuts my nails perfectly. So after I finish clipping all my nails down, I quickly compare between the left hand and the right hand just to make sure that the nails are roughly the same length. And then we move on to the filing part. I'm using this paper filer to file down my nails, just a little bit shorter. This is the part where it's actually shaping more than taking off the length. I just um, used my cuticle as the guy. Um, so the tip of my nail should be a perfect parallel line to my cuticle. Um, you know that with our hands, depending on how you look at it, the nails could seem um, crooked. So I'm just using this as a guide, the cuticle line as the guy. So that way, sometimes it's still crooked, but, but I feel better that way, I guess. So I switched to a buffer to basically uh, smooth out the edge of my nails. This is when, you know, if you miss the step, sometimes you scratch yourself um, because there's some sharp corners or sharp edge to the nails. So the buffer will help. And you can see I'm going down from the top and then um, tilting the buffer underneath a little bit to file down the bottom of the nail as well. I still have some sharp corners on both sides of my nails and we'll take care of that next. But at this point, you just need to smooth out the front of your nails first. And here I'm just showing you how I hold my buffer to um, file not just the top, but the bottom part of the nail as well. And now I'm going back to the paper filer to smooth out the corners of my nails. And you could tell that the shape of my nails are not um, actually square or round but it's a square shape with a little bit of the round corners and this is how I wear my nails for a long time um, and it's comfortable this way I guess so after um, 
finishing shaping and you could see here that with the polish on it's a lot easier to see um, the shape of your nails and double checking and everything and so we're pretty much done let's move on and remove our polish I'm using this nail polish remover bottle with a pump that I ordered from Zoyer. I really love it. And here's a tip. If you put a soaked cotton pad over your nails and just hold on to it with two fingers and wiggle, you will have a really great clean um, polish free finger after like 20 seconds. So that's how I remove my polish. If you actually want to share how you remove your polish or shape your nails, let me know. So I went in and washed my hands with soap and water. And I just want to show you this is the brush that I use to brush off all the dust and, and everything that caused by the filing and cutting. And now I have clean fingers with new shapes that are comfortable. <laughs> so usually the next thing that I do is to paint on one layer of the nail straightener. This one has green tea and bamboo in it. Um, it makes my nails feel a lot more uh, protected. And here's to the good part where I'm giving away this edge cutter to one of my viewers. Thank you so much for watching my video. The right side is the one I'm using and the left side is the brand new one that one of you will get. I will put the rules on how to win this cutter in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!